Section 22 of the Aesop for Children. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Genesis Myers. The Spendthrift and the Swallow. A young fellow who was very popular among his boon companions as a good spender quickly wasted his fortune trying to live up to his reputation. Then, one fine day in early spring, he found himself with not a penny left and no property save the clothes he wore. He was to meet some jolly young men that morning and was at his wit's end how to get enough money to keep up appearances. Just then a swallow flew by, twittering merrily, and the young man, thinking summer had come, hastened off to a clothes dealer, whom he sold all the clothes that he wore, down to his very tunic. A few days later, a change in weather brought a severe frost, and the poor swallow, and that foolish young man, in his light tunic, with his arms and knees bare, could scarcely keep the life in their shivering bodies. One swallow does not make a summer. The cat and the birds. A cat was growing very thin. As you have guessed, he did not get enough to eat. One day he heard that some birds in the neighborhood were ailing and needed a doctor. So he put on a pair of spectacles and with a leather box in his hand, knocked at the door of the bird's home. The birds peeped out, and Dr. Cat, with much solicitude, asked how they were. He would be very happy to give them some medicine. Tweet, tweet, laughed the birds. Very smart, aren't you? We are very well, thank you, and more so, if you only keep away from here. Be wise and shun the quack. The Dog and the Oyster there once was a dog who was very fond of eggs. He visited the hen house very often, and at last got so greedy that he would swallow the eggs whole. One day, the dog wandered down to the seashore. There he spied an oyster. In a twinkling, the oyster was resting in the dog's stomach, shell and all. It pained the dog a good deal, as you can guess. I've learned that all round things are not eggs, he said, groaning. Act in haste and repent at leisure, and often in pain. The Astrologer A man who lived a long time ago believed that he could read the future in the stars. He called himself an astrologer and spent his time at night gazing at the sky. One evening, he was walking along the open road outside the village. His eyes were fixed on the stars. He thought he saw there that the end of the world was at hand, when all at once down he went into a hole full of mud and water. There he stood up to his ears in the muddy water and madly clawing at the slippery sides of the hole in his effort to climb out. His cries for help soon brought the villagers running. As they pulled him out of the mud, one of them said, You pretend to read the future in the stars, and yet you fail to see what is at your feet. This may teach you to pay more attention to what's right in front of you, and let the future take care of itself. What use is it, said another, to read the stars when you can't see what's right here on earth? Take care of the little things, and the big things will take care of themselves. End of section 22. Recording by Genesis Myers.